condition, and it's called Texnec, can cause both physical and emotional harm. I'm not kidding. Chiropractor Dr. Seth Pearl knows all about it. She joins us to discuss how you can stay connected while also staying happy and healthy. We can't stop, especially the next generation, from texting almost in an addictive fashion. So what do we do and what damage is being done? You're right. I mean, texting is not going away. Our handheld devices are getting smaller and smaller. We have to crouch more and more to get that text out. So you're seeing a rounding of the shoulders for people in their 20s. So for the last seven, eight years, I'm seeing an increased incidence of um, younger and younger kids with back issues that my 60 and 70 year old patients would have. This is incredible and by the way it shows a real need for chiropractors my personal opinion uh, but you did a test on me a little earlier. I we found did. it bothersome you made me take off my coat. What were you looking at? I was looking at the forward head posture okay and what we're looking for here is how far your head is over your shoulders. Right. For every kind of you know every degree you go you add more and more weight to the head with you okay I hate to say this it had about 57 pounds of weight coming from so your head texting, over your body you asked me to text naturally that's how I would do it 55 pounds is leaning over it's about four quarts of paint Wow, so how does that affect me? So it's going to affect you in a couple of ways. It's going to decrease something called your lordotic curve, which is the curve of your neck. Right. That curve is going to flatten out. We call it a hypolordotic curve. That's going to cause this text neck, this jutting forward of the neck. You also say it affects mood, and I've heard this before, because think about it. When you're depressed, you kind of hunch over, you're kind of down. And guess what else you do? When you text, you're kind of hunched over and down. You can be sending signals to your body that you're depressed, you're down, and, and you have a, a negative attitude. That's exactly right. You've never seen anyone like this saying, oh, life is amazing. Have you? <laughs> no, that's And really. conversely, you've never seen anyone like this saying, I hate myself. No. Right? Standing upright, getting those shoulders back, and right. it also physiologically changes the um, oxygen levels inside the body, too. You're not getting a lot of oxygen like right. this. All right, so now you, you brought your chair here. You have your, uh, your uh, device over there. So what are you going to do for me now? So what this device is, this is from Sigma Instruments. What this does is this measures the fixation level of the neck. Remember okay. I said that spine straightens right. out. We're able to actually see how fixated or stuck that neck is. All right, so let's see. Well, should we take a look? Yeah. Okay, how much is it going to cost me? Do you going to satisfy <laughs> a deductible? Uh. So it's very simple, and this is basically 21st century chiropractic. Okay. We don't rack and crack anymore. We don't guess, we test. So all put right. your face right down okay. there, and all we do here is take very gentle readings of the cervical spine. All right. Okay? Now, it doesn't look good, Brian. It doesn't look good. <laughs> Stay out of his feet. Okay. <laughs> My diagnosis does not I look know. good for you. Anyway, what we're looking at here are the basically the bar levels. Right. The farther out the so bar level. So the Republicans level. didn't like my neck. The <laughs> Democrats and the Independents are a little bit on the surface, but go ahead. So what we're looking at here is you're looking good at about the top of the spine, right. which is good because you're well, saying, my head is. you know why? That's used for yeses and noes. Okay. So the rest of it is fixated and tight. So what we could do now, right. if you want, if we have the time, is do a very gentle adjustment on that neck, open up those nerves, let that body get the information it needs from the brain to the body, and you're oh, good to Pearl, go for the I'm rest of the day. I have to wait to the break because we're out of time. But you got yeah, it. That was very educational. You can't stop them, but you can fix them, and there's some exercise you can do. Great job. You Thanks so much. Thank you. I mean, we just did a, uh, uh, for 10 minutes ago, we just did this with Dr. Pearl, where he looked at how I text. He says, when he looked at my weight and my height, he says, I have 55 pounds leaning uh, over, which means the curve in my spine is leaving, and he says, you need to be adjusted, in his case, if you go to a chiropractor, to try to get that curve back to fight against it. And not only does text neck hurt you That's physically, right. but also emotionally. If you're hunched over, you start losing, the get rounded shoulders, something you usually see in 60, 70, and 80 year olds. Well, you can see it in 20 year olds. And it, you can also get depressed just from sitting like this. You yeah, know? absolutely. The, your, your, your stature, the, the way you sit, your posture affects your mood and affects the way you treat people around you, uh, and then in turn, the way they treat I you. I feel it, and that maybe explains why you've been a shell of your former self. <laughs> exactly, I've been a little depressed. So we're hoping the break is yeah. really set you straight. Here. When we get 12, we all get 12, 1,200 emails every 90 minutes. <laughs> so we're always answering I have seen constantly. His Blackberry, it's true. Right. I yeah. wish I did have a Blackberry then. I could work the keyboard, but I, evidently my thumbs are too large for this generation. 13.4 pounds, that is one big head. Right. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right. So you might have text next, so make the adjustment.